Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am planning my Oris Dell A5 wide inserts for last week and I'm using the School Prince Co House to Home Kit which was part of the Ultimate Mystery Bundle. If you missed out, I would check on the SPC BST on Facebook. That's what it's called. I have to see if anyone's selling it. Uh, I was planning to do like two more Halloween spreads after Halloween week, but then I decided to use the Animal Crossing kit from Odd Loop last week. And it just didn't seem right to like continue on <laughs> with another spooky after such a bright summery kit. So I, I just looked around at what was on my desk. I still had the Ultimate Mystery Bundle out. And I just really felt, really vibed with this kit. Um, just something relaxing and chill. Going to the last parts of autumn and starting into winter and holiday season after this. So yeah, I decided to use this one and I'm using the matching foil bundle that went with it which was conf confetti matte bronze I believe. And yeah, I think the spread turns out really pretty. I did do a bunch of cleaning and organizing this week as well, sort of to make up using for the, this sort of theme. Um, although really it's like an anytime one and I just thought it'd be nice chill soft kit to use this week um to sort of transition ourselves back to sort of holiday stuff after the animal crossing <laughs> anyway i'm just repeating myself i think um i'm just gonna be using like the uh foil bundle here and um just getting it down i did put that <laughs> uh that foil down crooked but before i could get it like before it was stuck down, I made sure to undo it up. And I think it turned out just fine. <laughs> um, I decided I really wanted to highlight the lighter and blue colors, so I'm putting the brown in the center in my color blocking so that um, there's just less brown throughout the kit. And there's so many good full boxes. It was so hard to pick. Of course, I had to put the cat as the top. And I loved this girl from the extra sheet. Um, I think first we're going to do the sidebar and I keep forgetting and I did it the next week as well. Um, I actually want to start doing my sidebar from the bottom because the way I do my sidebar does perfectly fill it up to the point where I want it to be so you can see this full box goes perfectly on the bottom. But if I'm a little bit crooked or off it does overhang a little. So I need to remember next time to start from the bottom up, right on the edge of the paper, because it will get me to the perfect spot with how I do it. So next time, next time. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just putting in all my favorite boxes. Oh, I just love that girl. And I'm just using the, because um, I wanted to use more boxes than, um, because there were so many boxes included in this kit, I didn't want to use the tall box. Because um, otherwise I, would, I wouldn't have the... Uh, the tall box takes up two of the um, full boxes in the sidebar. So those are the differences there. So I used the... Luckily the girl from the tall box was also in a normal box. So that's how I used her. I'm just taking forever to say nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, and then as per usual, I'm putting the deco up the top and we had a bunch of deco in this kit, which is great. I didn't get to use all of it. Um, yeah, I was just really happy with how this came out in the end. But um, talking of the week, it was pretty chill. Still playing a lot of Animal Crossing, um, doing a lot of work. Um, I think like the week before I got all my October stuff done so this week I was getting started on the November customs. I got one done and then I got started on a um, shop set which I've done now so that was the friends kit that just went up on my shop um, called There For You and I um, was pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty well. I put a lot of effort into like you know drawing the people and the scenes especially and I was getting as many references in as I could. Um, 
So it seems like it's doing well and should be popular, so I'm happy about that. It only came out last night, so, you know, it's still early days for that art set. But that's why I started the end of this week. Um, but I think during this week I was drawing the 8 year um, anniversary for SBC. I think so. I think that's what I drew this week. <laughs> I can't even remember anymore. Uh, it's like, this is why we need planners so we remember what the heck we did every week. But, um, yeah. So, let's get into it. I could bring, I brought out a lot more, like, neutral and pink kind of soft stickers. So this is a Paper K Cuffy, uh, which I'm just obsessed with right now. <laughs> I wish you had, like, even more colors, because they kind of come in just purple, blue, and pink, I think. But I would love these in all colors because it's like the perfect little design. I love it. And the size. And the Coffee Monday script is from Station Stickers. The only thing with um, printed Station Stickers stuff in black is that at least the batch when I bought them. It was a while ago. I think it was last year that I got these. Um, when she was still only doing monthly releases. Of like one weekend of printed stickers release is that the black ink scratches off really easily. I think you actually see this later in this spread. I had to replace a script because all the ink was scratching off. And um, I think it's just something that happens when like the printer settings just aren't right for non-foiling. But no matter, I'm trying to get through them because obviously I have a bunch of other scripts to use as well now. I'm really into Ice Cream Joe's scripts at the moment and I have a, a whole other order of her stuff waiting in my box so I can't wait. But I got all my boxes done this time, um, which I know takes a bit longer but I will. And I'm just using again a Clever Girl Craft Heart to mark in my videos and mon Monday was a big sticker haul. And the cat food icons from Once More With Love because Heidi's cat food was delivered this day. She didn't actually have any of her normal food over the weekend. We had to, <laughs> um, I ordered it too late so we had to pick her up some random food from the store but I will. Oh, I think this is the sticker I ruined maybe. You could start seeing the, um, yeah look, the ink just comes straight off. Yeah. Those are the danger with those station stickers, um, black scripts. Um, but then I also use a school prints code taco because we got Taco Bell, I believe, that day. Um, uh, just feeling Taco Bell. What I usually get is a crunch wrap, chips, and um, like fries, I guess. <laughs> They're hot chips in Australia. Um, for chips and the cinnamon twirl thingies. Yeah. And did a bunch of drawing work. Obviously I'm just using work from the foil bundle, the script. Then played Animal Crossing. Um, oh no, not playing Animal Crossing. I was watching Animal Crossing streams because a whole bunch happened on the weekend and I'm just catching up on them on Monday. I'm using that paper and milk little um, YouTube heart button. <laughs> Um, sticker for that and then we got Momotoko Ramen because Fat Ramen was closed and Momotoko Ramen is not as good definitely not um, I'd had their bow before and it was alright but this time trying their ramen I was like mm, nah I think ramen is Fat Ramen remains the best ramen place we just wish they had a lighter um, broth because their main broth is like a a fatty pork one and it's just it gets a bit um strong but oh well nothing tops ramen in when you're in japan like ugh, some good ramen places there like this really good um chicken broth ramen place we tried in harajuku oh so good but anyway <laughs> I thought that was an interesting thing I learned in Japan was about how ramen places usually have their like main stock style like the broth style so some places like they do a pork broth and all of their ramens are in those bro same broth or they specialize in a chicken broth or you know etc 
And I thought that was really interesting to learn about ramen when I was there. I'm just filling in, putting all these stickers down. Usually I should go like sticker by sticker rather than putting the whole day down, but oh well. <laughs> so I just marked payday with a paper and milk little wallet. I thought it went with the kit. And then, well I know the phone was that I filmed this a while ago, sorry guys. I haven't been able to do the voiceover for ages, but... Um, the phone is because Locke's new phone came in. They ordered a, a Google Pixel 6, um, which they don't actually sell officially in the Nordic countries. For some reason, Google just can't be bothered updating it to our 5G network, so they don't sell them in the Nordics at all. And we had to buy it from France, but it still works here, but... Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with Google, they just don't want to sell it to the Nordics, I guess, but the phone was very pretty. Oh yeah, so we got Muji delivery. Um, it wasn't until I moved here that I didn't realize that Muji had a cafe, and they have delicious chicken karage, so we got that. And then I was playing Animal Crossing, and just using the Once More with Love little stickers for that, because they're nice and light. And then we treated ourselves to, t to some Pizza Hut on Tuesday night. It always has to be a treat because, uh, with Pizza Hut, because you may not think that's a treat, pizza, but it's like the closest pizza to Australian that we found here. Um, not that I don't love Finnish pizza, they usually have the like, um, European pizza is like very thin crust, uh, whereas the Pizza Hut is like thick crust, I don't know, but it's mostly a treat because a Pizza Hut pizza is like 20 euros by itself, with the, which is like 30 Australian dollars. <laughs> or even more, like almost 40 Australian dollars. Um, so it's a lot. It's an expensive pizza for Pizza Hut. But um, we like to treat ourselves. And I never finished my half, so I had two pieces left over for lunch the next day, which is great. Oh, we also get garlic bread. Which no pizza places here like sell garlic bread with the pizza, and I know it's got it's bread on bread, but I just grew up like you have garlic bread and pizza, you know, together. <laughs> so that was great, and then just doing more work. And then Wednesday, I did the voiceover for my plan with me, um, and that voiceover script is from Ice Cream Joe, so you can see how pretty her scripts are. Now Play With Me and Sticker Hall are from Adorably Amy Designs. And I should say that Mobile Phone sticker was from Bare Necessities Sticker Co. And the Pizza Hut sticker is from Paper, uh, Paper Shy. Um, as are these stickers, so the iPad and the files. So I finished the custom that day and I sent the files off to Andrea. Then I played Animal Crossing. <laughs> it was like my reward for getting things done. And that night we had Lopez y Lopez, I believe. One of our favorite Mexican blazers. Um, we have Lopez y Lopez and Sexico, and they're both really, really, really good. Possibly better than the Mexican we got in Australia. Like, better tacos. Super delicious. And then we're going on Thursday. Ugh, look how pretty that girl is. I just love her hair and just mm, everything. <laughs> um, what happened on Thursday? I think my, my problem with this week is that I didn't touch my planner for a few days and then I forgot everything I did. <laughs> uh, Thursday always ends up being that day. I always forget what I did, but... On Thursday, I did a major clean of everything. I think Luck was at work. So I dusted the entire apartment, a flat, and I vacuumed a bunch. Like, I properly vacuumed the living room rug. Um, so it was all nice and clean. And then I did some more work. I started work on the Friends set. Then what? Then what did I do? I had to think hard about what I was doing on Thursday. 
and it, was, it wasn't a lot. Um, uh, so I had to use like, you know, hot boxes and things, but I use, I played Animal Crossing, of course. Just playing tons of Animal Crossing, um, just a couple of Happy Home Paradise houses every now and then, and um, just continually like redoing my island, getting houses and places, you know. It's just a slow work upon that. And it's been nice just to like chip away at my island again and collecting new items. I got Happy Mail this day, a paper shire order came in, it was long overdue, it had Halloween stickers in it. Um, but I, I just instantly put them away, I didn't bother to film a whole piece, so. Um, they, they were mostly just, uh, it was a couple of Halloween stickers and then it was just a sheet that has those iPads on it because I'm obsessed. And I had nothing else to put there, so I put in a little Squirrel Prince code boombox and wrote that I listened to my squishy songs, because that's what I've been listening to over the weekend. My squishy songs playlist. If you're new, um, the playlist is like my, um, my sort of anxiety, trying to sleep, chill kind of playlist. That's why it's called Squishy Songs, and it's all nostalgic. Mostly 80s and 90s, like oldies, kind of like adult contemporary. Like there's a lot of Whitney Houston and Barry Manilow and things like that. Songs that I grew up with that like my mom was listening to and stuff that I just find very nostalgic and, and squishy and help me sleep and whatnot. So that is a squishy songs playlist and I highly recommend making one. It is very nice just to put that on if you need to chill. But um, I'm definitely someone that uh, has a big importance on music in their life. Um, so I have all my playlists, you know. <laughs> always listening to music, especially going to sleep. So once again, I don't know why what what I was doing the, for this plan with me. I was just putting all the stickers down in one go for the day. Which doesn't make voiceovers very fun because I have no idea what's happening. So I know what I know what happens on Friday. So Friday we have our usual shows, and it was the Doom Patrol season finale, the end of season three, and um, it was really good. It was actually it's kind of finale where like if the show got cancelled, it would be a good ending, uh, but luckily it got renewed for a fourth season. So. There will be more Doom Patrol. Very happy about that. And then I highly, re highly recommend it if you're into superhero shows. But this one's like out there and progressive and weird. And has a lot of stuff about trauma and found family and stuff like that. And they're kind of villains and kind of not the anti-heroes. Um, and then we watched Foundation, which has been going really well liking that sci-fi and then another sci-fi it's like a sci-fi horror which I use like this scared Halloween switch from stick with the planko um, the show invasion which is also an apple um, I did this scared one because this episode was so tense it was like the first um, interaction with the actual aliens because before this like the episodes is sort of they haven't really shown the aliens before and this one I like finally hit the aliens and it's like a home invasion and it was so tense and <laughs> so well done I loved this episode it was like 10 minutes shorter than the other episodes which is probably good because I was like on the edge of my seat the whole episode so if you're into like alien invasion stuff I would definitely recommend invasion it was so good uh, this episode especially I was just like oh my gosh <laughs> um, it's just going really well that show I'm surprised I didn't think it would but I binged we binged the first three episodes so um, so those are the TVs and then I was in my feelings this day I was a sad bitch and then I played Animal Crossing <laughs> Oh, and we got McDonald's. Or as us Australians say, Maccas. Which is much easier to write than McDonald's. Go love some Maccas. But yes. 
But now I've only got two shows on Friday, which is sad. Just Foundation and Invasion. Just funny, kind of they kind of go together. But <laughs> um, what else? And if you need um, reasons to watch Foundation, uh, well, Hasley Pace is a main character, and he's basically naked every episode. So if you want to just respectfully uh, look at Lee Pace and his body <laughs> every episode, then go ahead. Also, Jared Harris is in it, and well, I watch anything with Jared Harris. I love him. <laughs> um, so Saturday, I think this one we got. I think we got Levain, the egg sandwich this morning. Whereas on Friday we got Yeasty Boy. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. I can't remember now. <laughs> I was literally just looking at it. <laughs> and then I uh, played Animal Crossing and then I just used a Happy Meal sticker from Scribble Prince Go. So it was the sandwich um, sticker um, to mark that I um, I broke down some of our boxes for recycling. Was, you know, so I was cleaning up the place. A lot of the mess around here are the leftover boxes from mail and buying things so I broke those down because if you're again new here I live in an apartment building that has a bin room like a rubbish room but it um where you put your rubbish are like tubes that go underground so they have a very small um opening that can only really fit like a shopping bag size in there so you can't really put like whole boxes um, so what I do is I cut them all down and put them into bags so then you can just shove the bag into the cardboard recycling tube. But yes, <laughs> um, because in Finland you separate all of your, um, you separate all of your rubbish. So there's burnable plastics, cardboards, papers, cartons, you know, the whole nine yards. And then our, our room doesn't actually have glass or metal, so we have to take those. We collect them over a series of time and then we walk up to like the shared area recycling room that has glass and metal bins. But yeah. So I was just doing the boxes this day and then YouTube binge and we got Boba Chick, I think, because Boba Chick brought out some food as well. So some really delicious... Um, Bun bowls, um, because Boba Chick sort of, they do bubble tea, but they're also Vietnamese. So they have some good Vietnamese food that was tasty. And, oh no, we're watching House of Ashes. We're watching Simon and Tom from Yogg's Cast playing House of Ashes. And I put it in because that was like the one hour finale of them playing that game. Then I was feeling sick in my tum tum and not from the food, but. Um, and I should say the lighting changes here because the sun came out, which is very rare at the moment. Um, we're definitely in the gray days, but there's a photo of what it was like while I was filming. Um, so you, this is why it kind of goes a weirdly yellow here at the end, because there's a lot of light going onto my whole desk. A lot of yellow afternoon light. Although I think I filmed this at like 2 p.m., but the sun goes down at 3 p.m. here now. Um, and then we watched some, I got locked to watch Craziest Girlfriend for the very first time. They have always refused me. They just refused to watch a show. And, um, I must be crazy myself because I can't stand it. It's like literally the one show in, in our 15 year relationship they've refused to watch. And we watched two episodes and I just don't know if it's worth the heartache <laughs> to continue. It probably will never happen again. It's it's a it's a sore spot for me because the show means a lot to me personally. But what can you do? No one's gonna like everything you like. Well, one thing, <laughs> just as one thing. Um, and then I don't know what. Did I go to bed early? I don't know. Then Sunday, I just put in coffee. I like nothing to put in on Sunday. Um, so I put in coffee, and then we did laundry. Yes, it was bed early. <laughs> um, and if you know Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, that's why you use a pretzel sticker from Planner Hannah to mark it. 
because it's like a symbol of the show. And then a mock Subway, but with a cookie because um, I had like a leftovers that I ate, but luck didn't. So they got a Subway and I just got some cookies. So I used the cookies because I wanted Subway cookies. <laughs> and um, look at me trying to fit stuff in. Oh, it's always hard when you're like, I got nothing to put in. <laughs> but I, I want to use bigger stickers. Um, I think I just played Animal Crossing from the looks of it. I think I forgot to get a script out for this one. So I had to get another script. For the Animal Crossing, you can really see that light setting in now. And then, oh, we spent a while ordering groceries planning out some easy meals to do and then YouTube bench at that night. I think a few people stream for Animal Crossing on Sunday night so I was watching that and catching up on old streams but yeah that is a finished spread. I think it turned out really pretty. Um, I tried to like only use the matte bronze stuff except for that the cra clever girl craft hearts and that crazy ex-girlfriend pretzel um, because I don't like to mix too much bright gold with it but yeah look at that light terrible I apologize but I think the spread turned out really really pretty if you if you weren't sure about this kit have I changed your mind because I really love the way it went down I think it looks so pretty and I put a bunch of matte bronze bows from the foil pack all over the boxes so you can see them on the cat's collar and things. So cute. But yeah, did I change your mind? Do you like- <laughs> I feel like this is probably the least liked kit but I thought it was just perfect for right now. Um, and I think it has its place and um, it's just really easy to use. So let me know. Otherwise I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you Next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, bye. Bye. I love you. Bye.